Hello, hello. Just getting set up here. Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Can you guys hear me okay? Hey Brian, how are you? Denmark. Awesome. Is it snowing there? I got this new microphone. Can you guys hear me okay? Or is it too loud or too soft? Or this could let me know. That would be great. Alien. No snow there, that's a shame. Yeah. Is it like professional studio sound now? Instead of former. Dark. Okay. Uh huh. Well, couldn't think of something, so I think I will just continue my Krampus to give him a body maybe today. First, maybe some teeth. Is this uh, music too loud for you guys? Or? Okay. Um, last last stream I wasn't planning on giving him a body, but let's let's do. Uh, normally I would block block out the body with uh, with basic shapes. Use this awesome brush I got from Shane Olsen from this great workshop, 3D character workshop. We just start with uh, adding sphere, sphere, for example. Oh. Modify that. But as, as I started it now already, I will just continue Another way, just extruding from the mess I have and dynamize it. And maybe I will separate the head though. Let's first give him some some teeth, <laughs> some quick teeth. Fill in his head a bit. Boop, 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 boop. If you guys have any questions or whatever, just shout. Or any ideas or maybe some tips? Always open for new stuff. Working on some uh, some cool statues these last days. Maybe we can show them some really quick to you. It's always fun to show some stuff. Hey, Fori, how are you? Mm -hmm. 
example, working on this one. It's the red goblin. Just blocked in sort of base for him. Kind of like it, so I will do a redo the back part because that's just stolen from another piece I made, just to see how it looked. It's a red goblin. Really cool character. So hopefully I can finish that tomorrow. Great, so I finished a lot of projects in the last days. Oh, damn. Yeah, nice. You guys working on something? Love to know it, love to see it. Would be great if, we can, if I can figure something out that we can all sculpt together on a stream. That would be awesome. Just some more people sharing their screens. Maybe we can sc I can screen uh, live stream a, a Discord or something. That would be cool. I know everybody's getting sick of this question, but how is the COVID going at your countries? Here in the Netherlands, we're still in the lockdown. Kids are driving crazy. <laughs> well, for now, this is a good enough thief. Oops. Anatomy is, is always a puzzle. Are you doing that on your own or do you have some good reference or tutorials you're following? adding the basics to fill up his head a bit. planning some great projects to sculpt on the live stream for next year. Looking forward to that. So I can show you guys really a project from start to finish. Like a collectible statue or maybe a game character. Let's see what comes out. What would you guys like to see? Start to finish. Yeah. Bear, with, bear with me today, guys. Super <laughs> Always starting in the valley of suck. Is 
you're just adding some ba basic looking teeth in there already give him some more character still in the dynamess mode Did you guys have a good Christmas? I had some crazy bugs going on with my PC yesterday evening. I had to basically get to a restore point. Lost a lot of stuff. It's crazy. The computer was just stuck and couldn't open anything anymore. is gaining Given that fat belly, work from there, give us maybe some arms. Hey Pedro, how are you?
you guys have any requests for next year that I could show you guys <laughs> well it's just fun to make some kind of demon maybe for the next stream I can make a, a cute uh, woman I actually got really nice concept from a, from a great Artist called Romano. Let me find it quick. I was planning maybe get something cool to sculpt. That's maybe too sexual. Something like this. That would be cool, right? This kind of stuff. Maybe. That's well, actually not Satan, this is Krampus. <laughs> kind of a Satan Santa Claus. Let's get this out of the way. But I'm uh, open for re request uh, killer instinct. to get in the flow. <coughs> oh no, is it locked up again? I really don't know what's going on with the cam. You can see my shiny bald head though. I did that last time also. Why? Oh, I'm sorry. better right I will watch my language a bit more I'm sorry about that sometimes it just flies out versus acting up. Maybe I have some sort of virus or something because the PC is really acting up nowadays. some sort of arms in here. <clears throat> Just 
getting them a bit in the pose already. It's not planning on rigging or etc. Hey Matthew, how are you doing? Bit of an old school way I'm doing it now, but it's fun to go with the flow. Tired of the lockdown. Long days now with the kids. Just, just going to dynamize it together. Let's just do it. So any of you guys have snow? Where do you live? using my old brushes again just the clay build up move damp standard the usual let's get some sort of shoulder in here This will be covered, of course. But it's always good to get something going to resemble some sort of anatomy. I'm still fine. Yeah. So, any New Year's stuff going on for you guys? It's also like in our country, not allowed. Just stay at home. Fireworks are illegal this year. That's a shame. Just going 
to use a hand I have here. Oh nice, you're from Australia. And it must be so crazy. Christmas with your temperatures. <laughs> it and see how it looks. Welcome is also a bit weird today. Uh, this new computer coming but it's still waiting for the for the processor waiting for over a month now what it's the AMD 5000 series, uh, 9500X. That's the only thing left. And now it's acting up again. Now it's just. Yo, FX8 Sculptor. Oh man. You fell your suck again. I'm fine. Yeah, I'm trying to do this body today, but I don't know what's going to happen today. <laughs> it feels like one of those days, end of the year days. Kids were going crazy all day. Heavy winds, heavy rain, COVID. Let's see where this goes.
This music isn't helping. Nice belly. Wrapping, I usually do in uh, Maya. Sometimes UV master. I actually did some uh, game stuff that was all UV master and ZV master. It's crazy. Like on this, it's merged all together dynamics in the end. It's not the way I usually do it. Let's see if this works. It's just freedom, right? Actually, thinking for uh, an incoming stream to make some Ninja Turtles. I always wanted to make some. Oh. Uh, Jake, yeah, best way is just to watch a lot of tutorials online. Uh, yeah, on pixelogic.com you can also find some great, great tutorials on how to get started with Zebras. Uh, but can't you just buy uh, one license? I did way back in the day. I bought Zebras. Cannot even remember which one. And for s got every update for free since then. Let's see. Get Zebras. Yeah, it's this one right you can buy this one it's only uh, around 900 US dollars and it's for uh, for life A one year free upgrades hmm wondering if the new upgrades will be uh, costing money we will see Don't know. you can always start with the free version Get get familiar with it. I think that's core, right? No, it's not core, of course not. Here it is. The C, C classroom training. Lots of cool stuff in here. How to get started. Etc. Etc. Really recommend that. Yeah, there's the free version, I believe. Let me find that. Severe Score Mini, I think. 
Yeah, oh. Yeah, this is sort of dressed down version of Zebras, but it's great to get started with. Zebras Core Mini. Yeah, exactly. Thanks, little audio games. It's great to just get started with. Oh, -ho, let's continue with this. What are you guys working on? Curious. Any cool stuff? You guys. Or are you guys even working today or is it just... Going to make, make him already in the post. A poster, that's nice. It's realistic or... Just started to learn some uh, X-Gen. Finally get some hair on my uh, characters. <laughs> it's really acting here today. It's really great to get some new stuff in your head. Take the time to learn it. show you guys the concept I will cr try create at least a bit of the body it's a bit hard to see with the uh, clothes on Normally I would block out uh, his body first in uh, a pose with primitives and etc. I'm not going to pose anything to anything with his character. Only maybe make a make a print. So I'm sculpting him in, in his pose already. Cool man, thank you. Yeah, I will, I will accept when I'm done with the stream. Yeah, I'm just a bit stuck at the moment, but yeah, I'm just trying to have fun and just sculpt and see what happens today. Let's 
see if you can the live streams are really fun I'm really uh, thinking of a way to make it more interactive with the people watching that are also sculpting like maybe a sort of live room and people can get in there and show their work and I'm already uh, planning, thinking of doing a live stream together with uh, Spicer. He's also a streamer here. And then a long time good friend. Back in the day we uh, we all lost our jobs. And we just hang out on the uh, on Google Hangouts. And we, uh, we call it Zebra, Zebra's Hangout. And it was really fun, just hanging out with other sculptors and just sculpt, having fun, talking crazy stuff. Just blocking in some sort of anatomy. That's the thing with anatomy, you, you can get lost in it. Just if it looks like okay then it's maybe good enough already. Something uh, Ryan Kingsley told me. Before you know it you're spending hours and hours on uh, anatomy and nobody will even see it. As long as you know the basics, you will be fine. And doing, doing anatomy stu uh, studies is all, of course, really fun to do. Doing it without any references. Huh? Should always use references. <laughs> and happy new year by the way Andy well we still have one more day here this great year 2020 man what a year well fun one fun thing happened I started the live streaming here Really happy with that. Feels like I can give something back to Pixel Logic. Yeah, it's, it's, it's getting there, you know. <laughs> hey, thanks, hi, uh, Marty. Good to hear. Yeah, it is this one uh, of of Hoy. First was planning on just doing the uh, the head for my first stream, and then I could do a second stream this year still, and I thought maybe I will try and give him the body. Also. Yeah, um, now for production day, most of the time they of course want uh, a post to rig. But for a uh, uh, Tomb Raider game, I made st some statues that are around the game. And those were just in post. She remastered UV Master. sculpting uh, legs or arms I always have pictures up from uh, of arm of just drawing of the muscles a bit I don't know why I don't have it now <laughs> 
Maybe I'm just too lazy today. <laughs> make the long stream tonight I think let's see if we can finish this one in two streams that would be cool or at least a big guy maybe for my first other stream I can make a little guy beneath it that would be cool. oh, man. this guy is starting to look like me after doing this COVID lockdown all the gyms are closed all the heavy Christmas food. Oof. My webcam still working? Oh yeah, cool it is. No frozen today. Explosion outside, fireworks. <laughs> Some small looking. Demon feet or looks like claws. Change the music a bit, drives me crazy. Mm. High bangers. Maybe some jazz. Yeah, as you can see, I'm doing nothing fancy at the moment, just using just the move tool, or move brush, clay build up, some damp standard to, to just. Get some quick shapes in. It's a big guy, so his belly is a bit tucked away, his belly button. His fingers are stuck together. I will spread them out later. When I'm working on the hands. Maybe I will replace the hands with some uh, one I have lying around to speed up the process. I think mine's leaning a bit too much forward. It's more like this.
Yeah. Oh yeah, he sure did. Is that even any good egg nut? I never had that. Sounds disgusting. Thanks, Miss Seastar. 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 I'm going blind. Yeah, sure, it's different from all the uh, muscled superheroes I normally sculpt. Cream is good though. Let's give him some quick feet. What are those? Man? I don't know if they sell it here in uh, the Netherlands though. Heck not. Some like dangling here. I thought it was an alcohol, it's not uh, an alcoholic egg, no? time for a reinstall of this complete computer because my pen pressure is also sometimes really soft and other times really hard and it's looking good making a classical mistake now to try to get in details too fast instead of laying out the shapes first
needed a bit and had some feetsies. If you have any questions, uh, just ask. If you want to know something, maybe about a freelance life or something I made, or okay. stuff just trying to find a basic feet I have here somewhere to speed up the process <laughs> oh I got this uh, great pre-made legs monster legs and feet they're from uh, a website called bad king uh, bad really cool website with lots of st stuff you can try out and use for your sculpts to get some quick results maybe shout out to Bad King for some more monkey paws they look cool though Lonnie those look cool Chicken legs. <laughs> yeah, we could just have to. Oh, this is cool. Just going to add some normal feet and destroy them. Monster. Yeah, <laughs> Cyberpunk. I still have not played that game. I heard it's pretty fun. If, you, if you're playing it on the PC though. <laughs> no. Come on. Feet, feet, where are they? So many brushes now. Cannot find anything anymore. Ah, yeah. This comes with ZBrush, just some free body parts that you can use for an alder. Oh, no. <laughs> just adding some normal feet. <laughs> Looks fun. Let's just inflate them a bit. Just looking for the shape. So we'll dynamize them together and uh, sculpt on it. dangling a bit mm. Mm, let's, let's speed up things here we go I think I made the low legs too long now, yeah I did. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is the most fun to do with seabrush, just 
played around. It's called no technical edge loops to worry about now. I'm a Dutch. Yeah, no, a bit tired, so my, my English will not be uh, not very good at the moment. <laughs> so exp sometimes uh, you can expect some bored, bored uh, screams. I like how much that kind of stuff. So I apologize up front. I wish I was Italian though. Love the country, love pizza. Where are you from, uh, Mr. Sanson? Um. Yeah, maybe I will. I really like this concept as well. Maybe we'll finish this first, and I, I'm going to plan a, uh, a complete project for the up following streams as well. Maybe even we'll uh, live stream the printing as well. That would be cool. I will print this one as well, I think. <laughs> Brazilian, even better. You have the carnival. <laughs> no, there's a lot of great artists that are coming from uh, Brazil. Looks like he really has this. No, the option way too long, huh? This body should compose it a bit better. What I like to do is duplicate it one. Let's go do Z remess. Let's keep it default settings. <coughs> Sorry, yes, this is so proud. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Just keep on trucking, keep on making good stuff. Get yourself out there. That's a tip I always give people. Post on social media so as much as you can, just show yourself. There's no such bad, it's just such thing as a bad art. Just post your stuff and be proud of it. You can always improve. Let's project what I have on here. Subdivide, subdivide project. It's good enough. Leave the old one. It also depends on the industry you want to get in. Do you to go to the gaming industry or toys or collectibles? I always hate my own art. <laughs> I'm never satisfied, but that's the trick. Sometimes you just have to you know, let go and go to the next one. Yeah. Ego, for sure. That <laughs> looks like a biker now. Uh, yeah, proud of my own art. Yeah, I'm proud of it, but I always see room for improvement. Like uh, you can see in the back. 
some sculpts with a friend that's probably the famous one. Yeah, dice is the most most fun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, topology can be fun. Sometimes I really enjoy pulling a new every topo. Won't be long and we don't have to worry about Topo anymore, right? We saw some demos that there have millions and millions of polys running around. <laughs> it will be always really fun for a rigger to rig that, an animator to animate so much polys. But hey. something I'm also dipping my toes a bit in, in rigging to get a bit of more understanding in that that field would be fun just to rig your own characters a bit yeah you can always go uh, also uh, like concept artist 3D sculpting concept artist, then you also just stay in ZBrush, create cool stuff. Just going to pose his arms a little bit more like the concept. Do like best to make um, depends. Last year I really like to do some realistic stuff. Then I went more to the stylized stuff again. It's also really fun to do. Uh, the most fun I had was for it, uh, a mobile game. Just making cool, cool cowboy characters. Yeah, it was fun. But yeah, I like to do everything. <laughs> I'm also a big horror fan. So everything monster related, that's always fun to make, right? To get some zombie kind of stuff going on. Yeah, that was a, uh, just a fun project to do for a mobile game. <laughs> it was a great studio, great people. It was just a lot of fun. I think I'm doing the right thing now. I'll leave it for now. We'll post them later again. There's a jacket he's wearing. It's a bit too much bodybuilder still, I think. It's more almost has to be more saggy. That's the, the problem if you learn uh, anatomy and you're going to sculpt superhero characters that you always make them with no fat at all. So that looks really unrealistic of course. But hey, if it's a comic book character, they can have 0% fat, I guess. Do, do, 
do. So the microphone is not too loud, by the way. Thank you. I think I have some delay in the chat. There we go. That's better. It's my webcam still working? Yes. going to pose his arms a bit like the reference and then uh, make the jacket on him so let's get our symmetry insane some reggae so cool. every time I play some reggae it always reminds me of uh, Monkey Island uh, the game <laughs> I want to sculpt the guy for street food And if you guys play that game, or is it? So good. I want to live stream gaming. <laughs> Tom and Jerry, yeah. My son is actually watching Tom and Jerry. Fun. to destroy the sculpt at this moment a bit we'll be holding the big sack here Did you guys also watch the uh, Super Summit this year. It was cool that they still did it online. Missed the live stuff though. Missed the uh, Louis. Louis Tucci screaming. Hopefully after this stupid COVID is gone. Would love to go there again. Okay. Love to go there, never been there. the hands for now. Good 
it's fun to just do another way of sculpting I normally do. Uh, the concept is from, I just looked it up, because I noticed I used the wrong name last time. Shame on me. It's from... Fine. Let's just get props. Because he's a great artist. Go search it. Alexander Kozashenko. I had the right name. <laughs> so, Alexander Kozashenko. He's the guy uh, that made this great concept. Yeah, Keyshot is, is cool to uh, make some quick renders, yeah, for sure. You can also make some nice, really nice shots just using the PPR render. Um, if you check out this great artist. Everybody knows, I guess, Rafael Corsetti. I think he has some great, great stuff on uh, on his YouTube and Instagram. And he also explains how he uh, makes renders in ZBrush. But it looks a bit small, his head is too big, I don't know. Just don't like it. Let's get rid of this and make a new jacket for him. Yeah, just another Russian doing great things. Yeah. Well, you have great artists all around the world, I guess. Scaling up his body a bit. jacket from this body I like to do his mask basically the jacket
<laughs> Some strange singing here. Yeah, no CG alias. Oh man, Russian seems to one of the hardest languages to learn, I think. I don't know. I can only speak Dutch and English and a bit of German. And a petit peu of French. jacket let's see we messed that get a nice low poly base to start from yeah it's awesome Long wizard sleeves. Let's create those sleeves pretty quickly. Great to try this out with the uh, new cloth brushes. Let's see what we can do with those. Yeah, if you say Netherlands, you everybody knows Amsterdam, of course. The uh, red light district, the uh, the weed, etc. Yeah, it's a small country, but we have a lot here. I live way up north in a place called uh, Heerenveen. It's uh, it's famous around the world if you love ice skating, I guess. <laughs> Never tried the new uh, cloth brushes yet. They look like fun. I used them once for wrinkles on the face. So, uh, uh, what's his name? Another live streamer doing it. One of the the guy that also does the. Uh, New features presenting. What's his name again? Michael Pavlov, I think. Like that. He's also a great guy to look at if you're just starting Seabrush and want to learn stuff, even if you're doing Seabrush for a long time already. looking rope there Let's see we mess it got some uh, new temp geo in there Yeah, 
going to be a little bit too big on the sleeves here. Also just show a bit more arm. around later you guys playing some good games lately been uh, stuck on playing uh, heroes of the storm <laughs> for a while now Just moving this around to get some sort of jacket going. Just around here. Mm -hmm. Oh cool. Oh yeah, I have, to, I have that actually. Still have to play it. It's like a really hard game, right? Sekiro. I think uh, your RAM will determine how much you can subdivide, right? Not sure. Not the hardware guy. But I noticed this computer, my office has 64 gigs, I think. And that runs okay. And when I try to open it, ah, what's that? But when I open it at home with a computer that has way less memory, it freezes a lot. <laughs> Looks like he's wearing a, a gi now. So he can enter a CB Ho Do CB Ho Dojo. <laughs> Of uh, Spicer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh. That's always fun. Not realizing you're working in symmetry. You guys sculpting along? <laughs> I hope so. Only watching is boring, right? What course or video can you suggest suggest to me if I need to render a t-shirt after that in Photoshop? Thanks. Uh, um, who has a good one? I think just uh, a new Spicer has a video out. Spicer McLeroy is also a streamer. Maybe you can find it back on uh, superslive.com. And otherwise. I think the C classroom maybe 
Uh, that's not really a Photoshop. Yeah, I will search for uh, uh, Raphael Grassetti, for example. He has some nice Photoshop tips. <laughs> it looks like a ninja now. Oh, yeah. Let's get rid of his hands. Oh, it's getting there. Um, surely 95. I think that's Russian, right? No idea what you're saying. <laughs> I wish I knew. This uh, jacket some some thickness with the panel loops. Oh. Always a bit better to work. A nice trick is to use. Oh, let's get this out of the way. Some smooth brushes you can find over here. You can light box the brush. Smooth. For example, smooth groups. That's a really good one. For example, if you just want to smooth the outside. Oh. So. See? It doesn't destroy your mess, it just smooths the border. Okay, nice. Got this nice round sleeves going now. For the next stream I will be uh, also sculpting this little guy, i try because there's not much visible of him. And I will do his body uh, another way than I did this, uh, the big guy's body, just to show you another sculpting way I really like. I learned that from uh, Shane Olsen, his workshop, it's also a great workshop by the way. That's maybe a good one for you, uh, nothing changed. <laughs> uh, 3D character workshop from Shane Olsen. He shows you how to use Keyshot and uh, Photoshop. Yeah, let's do that. I will sculpt the uh, small guy later on the next stream, and I will do it the uh, the way for production in the A post and post them later. Afterwards, <laughs> yeah, next year it sounds so far away, it's still so close. <laughs> Let's hope next year will be a bit better, but yeah, I guess COVID will but not think, hey, it's 2021, let's go away. It's just another day in the office for him, her. You guys also have these people that think it's not real, your countries, crazy. I don't know anybody who has it, but my uh, father-in-law uh, drives on an ambulance and he sees uh, really sick people up close. Those stories are scary. Hmm. 
actually digging this reggae music. Damn it. Oh, sorry about that. Well, I'm sorry up front that sometimes I use some bad language. Just flies out when I'm talk so talking sometimes. What? For real, uh, Mr. Sanson? That's crazy. I thought he, he got COVID himself, right? Or was that another country? You don't be like that nude. Whoopsie, look at it here. It's merged those verticals, well points. Oh no. I must say, I don't know anyone who has it yet. It's a bit weird. Which I know other people that know other people that has it. family members that had it, etc. Oh, did it again. If you do uh, panel loops, make sure you. Make sure you have one polygroup, otherwise it will divide the groups. Uh, or you can do ignore groups, of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You did miss a sense, oh man. So we hear that. Let's give him this uh, big, what's it called, sort of scarfing, right? It's maybe a, a poly surprise. <laughs> maybe this is a good trick for you if you don't know it. It's uh, we have poly groups like this and an edge. And you select the uh, curved tube snap, for example. And draw over it and make this cool stuff but if you just uh, drag and hold shift it finds a border oh. you see and you get this nice around the border Guys going crazy outside. Thanks, Shirley. It's getting there. Love to see some more uh, zebra spot cast with some good artists. What do you guys think? Just some artists sharing their thoughts and giving some tips. It's always good to hear artists talking to each other. Magic will always happen then. I'm 
sorry by the way that this stream is still a bit slow just loading the ropes I used to uh, I'm a freelancer now for about nine years I think and used to be sitting alone just sculpt and not talk <laughs> you know to to talk and sculpt this takes some getting used to that's why I'm looking at the chat all the time to see if you guys have any questions or just something to talk about <laughs> oh fix Mary don't know if you're a Seabird user or not if not you should it can be really fun and relaxing yes yeah like I said like I always like to say to people I'm sculpting with digital clay yeah Yeah, that would be cool, Mr. Sands. Yeah, that would be really cool. I'm a big fan of all of them. Except, uh, really, uh, I really love Alex Olivier. Uh, also, his, his, uh, what you call, traditional sculpting, I guess. So good. If you guys don't know him, check it out. Alex Olivier. Let's just get some basic wrinkles in here. It's always so fun to sculpt wrinkles, wrinkles and folding and closing. I like Marvelous as well, but nothing beats just sculpting. Marvelous always looks good, but yeah, I saw I know you know it does. Seabrush as well, it's, it's really good. Brazilian, right? Alex, not sure though. Yeah, Russians are the best. <laughs> That's, uh, just like sculpting muscles, I also look at references, how uh, folds go, so, for example, in jeans or Marvelous is, is fun also, I still prefer to do it this way. <laughs> and maybe uh, with the new cloth brushes of course. Time to try to figure out how those work now. So it's, always, it's, it's already looking like a nice thick row. Nice and warm.
No, at the moment I'm just uh, just winging it. Just, just adding some some yeah some crosses. Some. Just something that that feels good. <laughs> it looks good. Taking some creative freedom, of course. <laughs> I really started to like this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can put your, <laughs> your cat in the microwave. <laughs> no, don't do that, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have uh, at home a really old cat that sometimes really drives me crazy. I like cats, but man. I think he's uh, getting dementia or something. He's just meowing all the time. And <laughs> yeah, put her in the olive oil. And get some nice fireworks as well. <laughs> now for the fur, I have this cool look, cool brush that I once bought on Gumroad from Leslie van der Broek. My cat? My cat is called Diego. I do this later. <laughs> hey. I cannot pronounce your name, Mishkin, Mishishingi. I've been using Zebras for quite a while now. Not sure exactly which what was my first one. I actually bought it on an, uh, a DVD back in the days. I think about since I started freelance, so nine years maybe. make the sack mm -hmm. any of you guys sculpting at the moment as well He's getting there. I'm also going to print this one, I just decided it. Just have to. It's my first thing I made on the live stream, so. What are your sculpting pro 242210? <laughs> 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 Professional tips, yeah. Oh, 
the best tip I always give, what helped me a lot, is to network a lot. Just talk to people online. Make sure they know your name. Thank you, fellow. Yeah, it's getting late already here. It's 10, 10 o'clock in the evening now. <laughs> yeah, we'll do this uh, first stuff later. It's just too boring for you guys to watch me just drag some stuff out. Flatten this a bit, it's not perfectly round. Always ready will look better. Mm -hmm. Really digging this uh, reggae music. Makes me feel like it's summer again. Oh man, I cannot wait for summer. Or a good winter. Here the winters are really just rain. No snow anymore, no ice. When I was a kid, we could, there was always ice, ice skate, etc. But now it's just rain. It sucks. ZBS. What's that? Uh, what does that mean? Where are you from, BLX nude? I'm from uh, the Netherlands. Ooh, though cool, somebody has to translate that for me. Zivis. Yep. What's that? That's something uh, the cool kids use. Hi there, Doug. Cool. Well, his arms are a bit too high. Yeah, just start. Uh, maybe ask for feedback, etc. Have you thought? I think it was on his uh, Facebook page then, uh, Dark Cool. <laughs> well, let me check it out. Oh, cool, man. I like that. Mm -hmm. Is that fiber mass hair or is it some other program? Thanks, man. Yeah, my website is, needs to uh, really update that. My Instagram is the, basically the place with the most updated work. But and the next year I should be getting some green lights to post some NDA stuff finally. Worked on uh, some uh, movie stuff. I cannot wait to show you guys that. Is this the arms are still a bit longer? I uh, plan to, yeah. I, I want to try to stream on Zebra's Live once a week and I will, will try to stream some more stuff on, uh, on Twitch. Thanks, man. Russia. Lots of great Russian artists as well, man. Great and nice to, to hear about you all, man. 
Just a cool concept I found on the R station. I think made by a Russian guy as well. Let me find his name again. It's from Alexander Kozachenko. Yeah, sounds Russian, right? Oh yeah, actually works at uh, Project Red, so he did some stuff on uh, on Cyberpunk, I guess. That's There's so many cool stuff. Yeah, no Cyberpunk on his portfolio. Poland, Russian. Oh, he's, he's Polish, not uh, not Russian. Going to make the sack. Oh, I, I missed that. One. Yeah, he's Polish. Polish. Mm -hmm. Polish. <laughs> Polish. He's a. Uh, he's from Poland. In Dutch we call it Poles. In Poland. Nasi <laughs> Pakan. <laughs> what does that mean? Sometimes she versus buggy a bit. <coughs> Are you from uh, Poland, uh, Shirley? Doku.
uh, just like to just uh, uh, sculpt it with some cool sculpt uh, cloth brushes. I got this one. I like to use the SK cloth. Not sure I get it. If you Google it, you can find it. I think. Ah man, the the user interface is perfect. <laughs> it looks scary, but it it really isn't. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think Wednesday will be the day, but a lot of people want Wednesday. But just keep an eye out on the, on the Facebook. I will will try to stream every Wednesday. If, if it cannot be on the Super's live, I will do it on a Twitch stream because it's really fun to do. I'm really making some personal art now. Just just sculpt. Really fun. It's really. Yeah. We'll play with the uh, dynamics and the cloth simulation uh, on the next stream just to see how that goes. Yeah, I'm just sensing that the, the pants a bit. Uh, usually a sculpt like, if you, can you guys see the whole time in, in, in the back? Those can be done if I can work two weeks non-stop on it, it can be done then. And a simple uh, game model can be done in four days maybe. Just I will do it completely with texture and retop or UV. Yeah, sometimes I use serial mesh, but if it's real for uh, game or production, I use a uh, program like Topo Gun or 3D Code, sometimes in Maya. Just do it by hand. It can be tedious, but it's fun. Yeah, of course. You mean uh, this one or uh, some finished sculpts? Just adding some lines now on the uh, the back, just to get some. Some feeling of it. Oh yeah, yeah. I will uh, next time. We will get up closer <coughs> and get some uh, better camera angles and better resolution of the camera to show you guys prints.
quick save. Quick save is scary. Sometimes it saves your life, sometimes it destroys your skull. <laughs> But with the latest updates, it goes fine. Hydrate, hydrate. You got this. <laughs> you should hydrate. Let's see, Let's see Russ is. Uh... So, you guys ready for the new year? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I used to work in uh, a company that was mostly doing our architectural stuff, so buildings. I was doing the uh, the big billboards you see you know, at, at building sites. And then I lost my job and the crisis hit here. And then I said, well, we'll try it on my own. The good thing I had, uh, had before I lost my job, I had a really big network around me so I just threw up a ball hey, I'm freelancer now hit me up if you need anything and yeah it went from there yeah I'm curious what will happen in next year now one thing we can be sure that we still be sculpting. It's a nice distraction of the world. Not even watching the news anymore, it's all the same every day. I'm going to miss uh, Donald Trump's tweets though. Those are funny. <laughs> Well, what time is it? Oh, only two hours. Thanks, man. Yeah, nice little toes, low, like. <laughs> Just make him look, look cute. I think I make, made his head too small now, what do you first think? <laughs> yeah. Just going to make his head a bit bigger again. <clears throat> Any of you guys actually do some real uh, traditional sculpting in real clay or? Oh yeah, my R station is just uh, R station and my name Andre, but it's really outdated. It's also for uh, 2021. 20, Update my portfolio. I haven't done that for ages. Sometimes I can just squeeze a render in and post it quick. I look at our station uh, every day when I start. Just get some inspiration going. Yeah, I can imagine. Art is also always considered a bit of a hobby for people that don't know it.
I don't understand when, why you're asking money for a drawing. For example, if you go to a Comic Con, all those artists there. Oh, let's get some color on him just for fun. Will never work, of course. Yeah, most people think just the stuff they play in games just falls out of the air. <laughs> it's something I like to do also, just slap some basic color on him. It gives you a good feeling. Press uh, C, you can just pick a color. Yeah, yeah, exactly the best Star Wars girl. It's also, when you're first starting out as a freelancer, it's hard to ask money. You're just happy to get a kick. But there's this guy on Facebook that is really putting out some great videos about starting in the industry. Yeah, well, some some games are made by just a couple of friends, I guess. Some cool indie games. Uh, let me find that guy. What's his name? Yeah, my mind is drawing a blank. I don't know his name. Yeah, I will, well, I will search for the uh, the guy that posted great videos and will let you guys know. I think I'm calling it day. It's really late already. For next time, I will uh, finish the uh, the hands, feet, base the big guy, and start on the uh, the smaller guy that's holding him. And uh, I will try to create him using another way. I like to create characters by using uh, uh, basic shapes to block him out and then start sculpting on them. Basically also what I did with the big guy, but I will give him more production treatment. Like I start an A pose. Oh. <laughs> well, if you work like in, in a company like that, with great people, they, they feel like friends. They will be touched by hundreds of people. <laughs> it's... Uh, almost half past 10 in the evening I always get, a, get mixed up with p.m. and a.m. it's dark outside <laughs> 
thanks guys for watching and uh, hit me up on Instagram Facebook whatever you want if you have any questions and keep an eye out on the Super's live when I start streaming again thanks man thanks Mary happy new year yeah <laughs> I'm the first to say it to you guys happy new year and let's make 2021 a great sculpting year with lots of cool art and I like to know everybody everybody's art station so I can follow you and watch what you make it always inspires me cool guys thanks for watching and see you guys later